Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. In this episode, we are going to learn about the login controller and much more interesting thing. So in the last episode, we have covered the views of authentication created by the PHP artisan auth command. So we have successfully successfully understand the views so it's time for the login controller and we will go to the sublime text and close all these things go to the app folder the http folder controllers and auth now it is login controller so now you can see inside this controller the first thing i want to show you is this protected redirected to that means when user is logged in it will redirect to home page okay so let's see what is going to happen here let's see i am going to log in and obviously we will get error because i have changed the password in the last episode so it will give me an error and now you have seen that we are on the home page because it will redirect you to home page after you are logged in. Let's see, we are going to the welcome page of Laravel. So when we are going to log in again, then obviously, you know, this will give you redirection to the home page and that's good. And you know why I am going to show each and everything in so much of detail because these little little things are going to help you when you when you are going to create the multi auth system okay so let's go and see another thing so let's just log out and verify token mismatch obviously so let's go log out yep we are logged out and next thing is this middleware so in the constructor of this login controller, we have made this middleware and this middleware is guest and it is not applied to logout. Okay, because logout link is also given inside the login controller, but it is not covered under this guest middleware. So where is that guest middleware? Let's see. For that, we will go to the kernel.php inside that you can see this guest middleware and the actual middleware is redirected if authenticated so you can go to that on obviously that is inside middleware redirect if authenticated you can go from here also redirected if authenticated so in this middleware you can see it says if auth is a guard of guard which is given and it will check for the login and if it is already checked that means if you are logged in then it will redirect you to home page what's that meaning that meaning is that let's try to catch the home page and we will go to the login page obviously why because we are not logged in but when i logged in and it will give me error yeah seven now when we are logged in and now when i try to log in and you can see it will redirect me to same page home page that means this guard will work properly that means if we are logged in then when we try to log in again when we are going to uh, the route of login it will redirect you to home page and obviously you can check this by changing something so now when I try to go login route, it will lend me to the welcome page. Okay. So now reset all these things. And if we are not logged in, go and proceed to the requested route. So when you are not logged in, when you are not logged in, you will go to the login page easily. So this middleware is work like this. Okay. So we have seen the middleware now it's time to 
check the routes let's see where is the route so we will type php artisan route route list and you can see all the list is now given there is three controllers inside the login control but we cannot see any of the function other than this constructor so where are these login functions are for that you can go to the authenticate users and here you can see show login form so when you go to the login route with a get request then it will land you to the show login form page and which is returning the auth dot login let's try to make some change and now we are going to show the register page when we go to the login page so let's refresh this and now you can see we are on the login page but we are getting the registration form why because i have changed here so let's make it correct now the next thing is this login when you give your correct information in the login form that means you give the correct email or password then this login page will take you to the login route of post request so you can see this post request login url is on the login function of the login controller lots of login again <laughs> okay so where is this login function that login function is here and now when you first try to log in it will just firstly validate okay so it will just validate your request and where is this validation function validation function is same inside that authenticate user same page and here you can see it will authenticate about the two field which is one one is the username and second is the password so username function is obviously again inside same page and it will give you the email so we are going to validate the email which is required and password which is required okay so if you are going to say any other thing let's say name and you can say you can say it obviously required you can do these things also okay let's try to make some changes again and see what going to happen because i am not interested in the email i want to log in with my name as i have given the username as name it will check for the name okay so let's go and try to see the magic i am going to say the sarthak the login password and when i hit enter it will give me the error because we have not changed the input field so let's try to change the input field we will go to the login.blade.php and here instead of everything as email i will just say it name now when i go to refresh and instead of this i will type sarthak it's sarthak not j sarthak 1234567 and now we have redirected it to welcome page so let's go and change it again and go to the home page log out and login again making here my name 1234567 and you can see we are logged in with the name not with the email so here is the here is the magic of the laravel you can see by changing just one thing just one which is this instead of email i have typed the name and we are going to log in with the name so much easy isn't it so let's make it as it was now the next thing is this has too many logins what is that meaning let's see here login try to log in again and obviously let's say i'm going to log in with some wrong information and it says nothing why because it is giving <clears throat> nothing because we have changed the login form with the name so let's try to re retrieve all these things make it all email now go here and type gmail.com hit enter and it will give me error okay that's no problem again login give me error again login 
give me error again login give me error and again login give me error and again login it will give me error and now you can see after five unsuccessful attempt we are getting this error that means our login is blocked for one minute okay okay so this system is coming from this statement which we have seen here if too many logins then fire logout event that means if we, if we are trying to log in many times then it will give me this error so let's see refresh and try to log in again and you can see again it will it will be refreshed because one minute has been gone so now this is the has many attempt and where is this function is situated this function is situated inside throttles login and it will give me the error system and obviously we have to make five unsuccessful attempt if you want to make it let's say three but three is more let's try to make it just one and now i am going to log in with wrong credentials and it will lock me for another 60 second and when you try to refresh you can see and uh, let's go and yep you can see only 49 seconds are left you can obviously extend this seconds by just changing here the minutes so it is now one minute so we are going to change it let's say three minute and let's try to make little less and now we are going to make the attempts two. that means for two attempts after two attempts it will lock me for two minutes so let's try to check and the first attempt the second attempt after this sec second attempt when we are trying to attempt it again and we are logged for 120 second now not for 60 the 60 into 2 that means 120 second so you can see it is very much efficient for you if you are building a project which has many users and there are much login again and again so now try to make everything as that was now go back and when we are done with this login system then it will attempt login and where is that attempt login is attempt login is here and there is function called attempt so it will check for your credentials so where is that credentials is credentials is here in just below the attempt login function and you can see the credentials are two one is this second is this password so I am not interested in password, I am. I want to say the name, I want the credential to be name. So let's see what is going to happen when we are try to make the changes and here also we have to make the name instead of the password. So is there anything else? No. So I want to log in with my email and the name, not with password. So for that, obviously we have to make changes in our make changes in our login.blade.php instead of everything has to be password, just make it name. And obviously the type is not name, type is text. Now go back, try to refresh. Say bitfumes now the sarthak okay try to login hit login and you can see undefined index password to recover this error obviously we can go to the eloquent user provider so let's go to the eloquent user provider here is the eloquent user provider on the line 122 so we will go to the line 122 and instead of password i will say the name and now as obviously the password has been hashed so we are not going to make the name hashed we are just going to return our plain name okay only name not hashed name now when we go back and refresh and try to log in with the name and the email let's hit enter and now you can see we are logged in you can see it is more 
powerful thing than you have ever thought okay so let's make everything correct again so that we will not get anything any error again so now when so let's make again it's the original thing okay so what next thing when the login attempt the login attempt is here we have attempted the credentials is here just below this and we are getting the credentials after getting credentials making the attempt of the login which i have just shown you this is the attempt login and after this attempt it will just send you a response login okay send response login which is here which just clear the login attempt what is this login attempt we have just seen here has too many login attempt so this is the case which are going to clear when we have successfully logged in that means when we have successfully logged in our number of unsuccessful attempt is cleared okay so this is the same thing which is here given okay so if we are not correctly logged in then send me failed login response and where is that failed login response this is a failed login response and in this failed login response we are just incrementing our unsuccessful attempt for giving me has too many logins function okay so you can see we have actually made lots of changes in our login system and we are going to make our login system very soon for another user that means this is let's say this is for user we are going to make for uh, admin section okay so these are the things i am going to show you in the future the next video is about the register controller as we have made changes in the login controller we will make changes in the register controller and again that thing is also going to be very beneficial for you and after that we are going to check the reset password and i'm going to show you the access level control and multi-auth system and after that the email verification of a new user so that means if a user has not verified his account then it will not be allowed to log in until it is until he has not verified its email so if you have any problem in this episode if you have any problem in any of your project and anywhere please feel free to comment me i'm always ready to respond everyone and you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram you can also message me there and please share please share this video with your friends so that everyone get the best knowledge of the level okay and please don't forget to subscribe this is the most important thing don't forget to subscribe because this series is going to rock you and makes your knowledge level from low to very high okay so we are going to make lots of changes in the authentication system and we are going to master the authentication systems and trust me if you follow me after this series you will be a pro of the authentication in laravel so we will meet in the next episode till then Subscribe and be happy. Goodbye.